Welcome back, you uh, filthy exiles. So it's two, uh, almost 2 a.m. and uh, I've been playing with this Flicker, Flicker Strike build for next league. Um, so basically I wanted to get in early. Obviously the league has been 3.11 appears to have been delayed a few weeks, uh, potentially a little longer. So that won't probably be coming in until like I would say early or mid July at this stage. Um, so in time for my birthday, which would be fantastic. Anyway, so I pretty much wanted to get a uh, somewhat of a build guide or template out for uh, my build for next league that I'll be using as essentially my starter build and throughout. Okay, anyway, um, so yeah, basically the, the build that I'm going to be running for next league is going to be Flicker Strike. Now, I've had a look at a bunch of other builds and how other people have, people have played it in the, in the past. And essentially, I'm going to use the traditional Aura Sacrifice, and we're going to run essentially Kaoms, Duresso, uh, Devotos, and Yoke of uh, Suffering. Now, you won't get these in League Start next league. I'm very well aware of that. You also probably won't be able to find a Circle of Anguish straight away, but there's no reason why you can't get them within the first week. So, yes, you won't be able to get everything, but you can pretty much craft a decent sword if you can't get an aura, a six link or a sacrifice. A five link will do early up. Um, and then the same applies with de uh, Devotos. It's probably not gonna be available straight away, but everything else can be crafted. Uh, pretty much just min and maxing resistances. In fact, these boots are pretty trash um, for what I'm using at the moment. Uh, Yoke of Sufferings were pretty cheap this league. Chaos were 15 chaos this league, so unless the patch changes something, um, and I guess not not too many <laughs> people view my videos and will get this idea to play Flicker Strike, everyone will be playing ED Contagion and bloody every other type of build under the sun that they meta every single league. So I don't think that a great number of people will be going crazy about these few items. In fact, these are pretty cheap every league I think yoke was like 20 chaos or something like that um, and we should be able to delve with this build too if we can't delve with this build straight away we'll do a switch out now the obvious caveat is you're probably not going to get a corrupted or a sacrifice with level 10 onslaught straight away so in that case we're going to sub out one of these jewels uh, ie fortify and we're or maybe awaken uh, maybe elemental damage with support attacks and we're going to run onslaught because the difference in my build is that this is actually an onslaught slayer so we're going to run actually run this graceful assault node so that we've got onslaught um, and essentially max out our movement and attack speed as much as possible which is i guess what makes this build a little different to what um, how other builds have been put together in the past for it as you can see from the tree, I'll put the POB up for this tree. I won't go into great detail um, because this video is more or less just a, uh, a build, th uh, a theory building or theory, yeah, theory building video where we're just going to briefly look at things and, uh, and I'm going to share my ideas with you. Um, and then, you know, you guys can make a decision as to whether or not you think what I'm trying to do is shit or um, if it sounds pretty cool and in fact is worth the time. Um, Okay, so anyway, without further ado, so that's essentially the tree, which I'll put a POB link in for. Um, items, we're gonna be doing a six link horror sacrifice, Devotos, Yoke of Suffering, and Chaos are pretty much a requirement. Um, you're also gonna be getting a circle of anguish because we're gonna be running Anger, Herald of Ash, and Precision. But we're only gonna run Precision up until, what if we got it at? level 10 just for mana um, we'll balance that when we get better gearing the other thing that we'll be running is val haste as well so that'll give us crazy amounts of attack speed um, on the on the side of that the other thing that you'll need to also do in your uh, i guess i haven't done it here we're going to invest in having a switch out gem so instead of running um, awaken merely splash we'll sub it out for something else that is actually usable in fact i think i've already got that yeah ruthless so when we get to bossing, essentially we'll we'll go ruthless or we can go life gain on hit depending on what you want to do. If you're going to do mining, you're going to do life gain on hit, switch it out and then basically mine with um, with flicker strike. And that's basically, that's basically how this is going to work depending on the situation. Now, the crazy thing, and, I, and I'll show you pretty much now. All right, so we're going to test this build out on a, on a T15 map, um, thicket. 
and uh, and then yeah, we'll I'll give you a run through of basically how this works. So when it decides to load. So what you'll see is just, it has dumb amounts of clear speed. Um, and that's due to the attack speed coming off Onslaught and Flicker Strike as an overall. You will experience no real pain. That will soon change. So yeah, we can see crazy amounts of DPS on clear speed. Now, th where this is currently a little deficient is on killing bosses. Could be much better. So I'm going to be working at that um, in the final iterations of this build. Uh, and then it, that's just basically a research job. And that there, that when it stuns, that sort of fucks me up. Now, there's a couple of solutions I have around that is running Kaon's Roots. Um, and that'll pretty much negate anything that's going to slow me down, stuns or anything like that. As you can see, it's just crazy. Like Basically, you just hit the button down and it just does... It just goes nuts. My spirit is spent. So we'll just get this to the boss. So it's not terrible for bossing. Um, but yeah, anyway. We'll just kill these last remnants. Anyway, that's, I guess, my Flicker Strike build that I'm going to be running into the next league. And um, and then, yeah, um, I'll put the POB up in the description. Um, and then if anyone wants to work with it a little bit more, to, by all means, change it to fuck whatever you can. I want to really focus on the use of Onslaught because Onslaught doesn't get much love um, in this day and age. So yeah, let's 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 bring back Flicker Strike and let's bring back Onslaught into three three eleven. Anyway, um, if this video gives you some ideas that are going to help you in the next uh, league, and you know if you're keen to play Flicker Strike because you know it's not Cyclone, um, give me a like and and maybe even uh, give me a sub if you feel like it. But uh, apart from that, until next time, bye.